scratch, cheddar, greenback, paola, and my favorite, dough. I love that people call money dough. So you can borrow a bill, any bill, and draw attention to the fact that it's actually a lot like dough, pizza dough almost. I mean, I can take it and I can crunch it up into a ball, just like pizza dough, and then I can smooth it out, kind of roll it out on the table if I want, or a rolling pin. And in fact, you can take the comparison one step further. But before I do, when you do this for people, they sometimes might think that you switch bills for some sort of tricky or prepared bill. So Chris, help me out here. I'm gonna ask you to take this pencil and put your initial on the bill for me. Well, actually, wait a second. It's, of course, it's trying to get you sent up to San Quentin. It's illegal to mark money, of course. So look, I got a, I got a post-it note here. I'm gonna take the post-it note like this. I'm gonna stick it right here on the bill. Okay, and if you'd be so kind, I'm gonna hand this to Chris. He's gonna put his initial. Here you go, brother. You can do it down the table, whatever you want, doesn't matter. He's just doing it on a chair off to the side there. There we go, thank you, brother. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, he's got his initial. He's got his initial on the post-it note there. His initial looks a little like he's saying un, just un everything, poor self-esteem, I think. Somebody, somebody, anyway, look. He's got his initial on the post note. You slap in the middle. You're talking about dough. Say, look, I'm going to take the bill, fold it about in half here. Okay? And look, take the pencil, and I'm going to slip it right through the middle. Right like that. Right to the middle. Okay? But because it's like pizza dough, all I have to do is massage it. And hopefully, that little hole right in the middle, I've kneaded it like pizza dough right away. And you can hand back this bill, no tears, no holes, just magic. You lucky, lucky little bitches. I, uh, I used to uh, sell this trick. I had a separate DVD then as a download for years. This is my trick dough. And I came up with this a long, long time ago. And if anybody's confusing that with the, the, you know, the much more uh, sort of ancient versions where you have a little slit over here and you stick it through here, you have to cover it with a big file card. It doesn't, no, no, this is dough. This is seriously the real work on this whole thing. Um, borrow any bill, have a pencil. Have a couple of post-it notes in your wallet. You are good to go. I mean, this looks great. It feels great. Uh, the principle is quite simple. It'll take a bit of practice, my friends. Bit of practice on this. So let's walk through this real, real cleanly, step by step here. First, you borrow the bill. It's important you talk about dough because one of the things you're going to do right off the top is take the bill and crunch it into a ball. Okay. Then open it back up. Now, why do I crunch it in a ball? I crunch it in a ball because if it's a newer bill. You want to make sure there are a bunch of creases going all over the place because if the creases at the beginning, they're going to hide your butt. They're the creases that are going to hide the tracks of how you actually do this, okay? Now, the move you're going to have to learn is this. Thumb and finger. You're holding the bill dead center. Dead center. And as I take this bill and I put it in my hand, I've got my thumb and my fingers, okay? Fingers and thumbs. A lot like the French, uh, the spellbound grip for Vernon's coin move. So I'm going to put it in like this and it's supposed to look like I fold it in half and turn it over. Okay. But what I actually do is I take it and with my right thumb as it goes in, I push up with my right thumb and I create a pocket inside it and in continuing action I fold. And I'm holding this bill, and it looks exactly like a human would hold the bill. But look, big fold. And this creates, essentially, a tunnel in the bill. Okay. Have someone initial, take a post-it note. And what I do is I take the post-it note off, and I slap the post-it note on the bill. And it goes about, I'd say, I mean, it's, you know, it's pretty casual, but maybe about dead center. Let's do it with a little about there. So that's about where I put the post-it note. Then I have the pencil, and this is the nice, get the pencil into play and people write an initial on it, and let's say they write the initials F U, because they don't much like magic. Okay, so you're there. I'm going to do the exact same move, but I'm going to do it beneath the post-it note. So I'm here, I'm going to come over before, and my thumb is going to do the same pocket thing, 
but I'm going to actually do it by lifting up first the little lip off the post-it note. Okay? But the action's the same. It's here, it's in the hand, and as everything comes up, the thumb slips underneath, creates this little tunnel, comes up like this. I turn around like that. Sorry. Here we go. Turn around like that. And because of where the post-it note is positioned, now I can handle the bill much more openly or much more freely, okay? Take the pencil, slip it underneath here, find my little tunnel. That's what she said. <laughs> and then slowly push it up through. The audio is great, the visual, I mean, there is no question that you are sticking it through, okay? You don't want to show this side. You've got to be careful or they'll see the little tunnel there, okay, like that. So you're here, you can show up and down, you can show it this way like that. Pull this all the way up and out. My thumb is going to go right in between in the middle of the bill, and my right thumb, the same thumb that created the pocket, is now going to sort of, uh, as I do this, I'm going to push, as I open the bill with my fingers, the left fingers are going to offer cover. I'm going to do this, they're going to, because you could see, if I'm not careful, you would see that. So I sort of, left finger opens behind my hand, and my left thumb now gets involved behind the bill. I'm now going to kind of work, the whole thing's covered, any kind of, there'll be no flashing because you're doing this larger action of smoothing up. Don't rush this. Really add to this, okay? Also gives you a chance to add a few more wrinkles into that bill so that there isn't this big honking fold lines, okay? Telltale fold lines, okay, like this. And then stretch it out and really, really emphasize this is the moment, okay? Everything's coping, everything's, boom, comes off. Show both sides. People don't think there's a hole somewhere. They know it. There has to be. The visuals are so strong. You hand that out, and that is one pretty, pretty illusion.